ransom, the price of redemption, the price to purchase the freedom of a captive is what we refer to as ransom. Now the Lord Jesus in Matthew, the 20th chapter, the 28th verse, he said this, he said, talking about himself, he said, I've come to give my life as a ransom for many people. Why did the Lord Jesus Christ have to give his life as a ransom? We're talking about life for life. Why would he have to give his life as a ransom? And we want to understand how he did it and what would that mean to you and me today? Authority, dominion, rulership, and ownership of this earth. So great was the authority and dominion that God had wasted in man. The Bible says that the earth, the entire earth, the dominion of this earth was given to man. Adam committed high treason. This man now committing high treason, forfeited that and gave it to Satan. That's why the Bible in many places refers to Satan as the God of this world. Satan had a legal hold on the entire human race. When God delegated authority to Adam and Eve, he really meant it. One man sold the entire human race to sin and to subjection to Satan. God would not step in and do it because he had delegated authority to man. First of all, this man had to be untainted by sin. Only then would he even begin to qualify to stand before Satan and say, give me this authority back. He should, be a, he should have been a man who lived every moment above Satan. We can indicate that death has taken place is through the shedding of blood. He says, those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them by any means redeem his brother nor give to God a ransom for him. No amount of gold, no amount of wealth, no amount of riches, no amount of sacrifice, no amount of religious doings, no amount of piety, no amount of pilgrimages, nothing on this earth could purchase. What can a man give in exchange for his soul? God had to come, not as God in all his power, that would be unfair. That would be violating what he already established. He had to come in the finiteness of a human body. That God, this God who became man is Jesus Christ. It was the ransom. But then you and I would ask this question. Why would God do this? One reason. Because of love. Christ's death on the cross was a display of God's immeasurable love for you. So on the cross, when Jesus died, our sins were paid. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 12, not with the blood of bulls and goats, but with his own blood, he entered into the most holy place, having obtained eternal redemption. He has delivered you. From the dominion of darkness. From the power of darkness. That means Satan has no more legal claim over your life. He has no more authority over you. You were bought with a price. This verse in Titus chapter 2 verse 14. The Bible says he gave himself for us. That he might redeem us. That he might ransom us. From every lawless deed. And purify us. As a peculiar people, as his own people, I want to ask you for your response to this Jesus Christ who said, I give my life as a ransom for many.